find you something else to read. Anything you're interested in? Okay, okay, gotcha. Uh, thanks for the input. Something lighter it is. You stay right here. I'll be right back with something you'll definitely enjoy. Let's see... No... No... Not this one. Nope, not this one either. Huh. I should really stop putting books back randomly after reading them. My hunky Mothman... The ending was... Meh. One step forward, two steps back... I really felt Bigfoot's emotional journey in that one. Mm. The Adventures of Wolfsbane Jim... Gosh, his friendship with the werewolf hunter was so beautiful. It feels kind of weird looking for a book to enjoy with someone. I know that this won't last forever, but it's nice. Well, not the part where they're trapped here like me, but I'm sure we'll find a way to figure that out. I really hope that the next book I show them will help them to calm down a little. Negative emotions can be really dangerous in the library. Who knows what'll happen if- <gasps> Oh! <laughs> if only I knew I was gonna have a guest, I would have cleaned up a little bit. <laughs> I sure hope the books are okay. I should clean this up really quick. For. Huh, <laughs> no wonder I couldn't find it. I guess that's what I get for being so messy. <sighs> Love Monster Radio. Yep, this'll definitely cheer them up. Hey, sorry it took me so long. The book ended up being in the wrong place. <laughs> I also may or may not have been distracted here and there, but I'm here now, and as requested, I found something much lighter for us to read. Alright, I'm all set. How about you? Awesome. Let's get into it then. This one's gonna be fun. We find ourselves in a small radio studio. There's vibrant colors and patterns adorning the walls. The smell of coffee filling the air, along with the smooth velvety notes of music. It's the home of everyone's favorite radio show. Welcome back to Love With Monsters, everyone's favorite nightly, bi-weekly, once-monthly annual show. I'm the Honey Island Swamp Monster, but you can call me Honey. We're expecting a lot of love and a lot of tough love, but I guarantee there'll be monsters in love. All right, Tamara, what's the night looking like? Uh, good. Any callers? I mean, yeah. This is a call-in radio show. Duh. All right, first caller. Welcome, and who might you be? Now, I'm a touch too late, but I'm glad to see the show is going smoothly. The lovely Frogman is back. Tamara, you were supposed to be screening these calls, sweetheart. How was I supposed to know Frogman was calling? Well, sweetheart, it's called a phone number and it's supposed to be blocked. Now, to continue with the show, I do need to express that this particular evening was quite riveting. I was strolling down the interstate when I came across a raccoon. 
Oh, this raccoon! The things we did! That's why I was late tonight, you see. Let's just say... Sparks was shooting from more than no, one no, 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 no. Honey once again saves us from whatever tangent Frogman's trying to go off on again. I should really call HR on you. I am HR. Alrighty. Sorry for the interruption, folks, but we're back on track with our first caller. Hi. I, I just love your show. And I love you for listening. Now, what's your name? Well, you can call me Mrs. Hanson or Betsy if you like. It's nice to meet you, Betsy. Care to give us some backstory on your love story? <laughs> well, it was quite a while ago. See, I'm a skunk ape, or a Bigfoot, according to the tourists. But I was following a hurricane up north and ended all the way up in Virginia. You should really have come to Ohio, my dear. It's a much nicer place. Tamara, nice box too. We. I am so sorry for that, Betsy. Please continue. Oh, that's quite all right. I honestly enjoy the Loveland Frogman. He's a delight. <laughs> Maybe you can say that. Since I was in Virginia, I of course had to walk a little west to see my good friend Mothman. On my way back, I ran into an old town. I couldn't remember if there was a Bigfoot sighting there yet, so I was lingering on the edge of the forest. Sorry for interrupting you, but for our non-Bigfoot monsters who might not know out there, it's customary for a Bigfoot to make a sighting in every town we visit to make it difficult for the humans to find us. Oh, yes. <laughs> there are so many of us, Miss Honey. I forget that not everyone knows our customs. As I was saying, I was lingering on the edge of the forest when, well, when I saw a handsome specter watching a couple and their children play. I <laughs> percepted you, you weary monsters, for your end has come. Tamara, why do I even pay you? Ugh, you don't. No need to blame your hench. I intercepted this insidious show using my own device. Uh, I am not a hench. I'm a college intern trying to get her credits. I will not be disrespected like that. So, you can do your job. Hey, I don't need you disrespecting me either. Miss Betsy, please continue your story. Oh, I had no idea it would be so exciting tonight. But yes, okay. This handsome specter looked so lonely, so I approached him. He ended up leading me through a whirlwind history tour of his town. It was a spectacular evening, and when it came time for me to leave him, I couldn't. Oh, that sounds like quite the love story. I'm not sure how it works, or how specters do outside of their hometown. Oh, I stayed in West Virginia. Aren't you a skunk ape? I thought you had to be in a swamp. Ah, uh, why is it so easy for people to get on the air? As Honey pulls Tamara aside to figure out how to fix the issue, Grace continues to have a conversation with Betsy. It's just what's most comfortable. I do miss the moss, the mosquitoes. And the constant boggy climate. Not to mention, I haven't been in a hurricane in years. I can't believe I'm even asking this since I don't like monsters. The way you folk are always taking over our government and corrupting the youth. Are you even happy in West Virginia? Well, it means I can be with Mr. Hanson. So, yes, I am happy. Wow, I guess Mr. Hanson is one great husband. Um, well, technically, he's not my husband. I think of him as my husband, but, you know, till death do us part and all. He's already dead. 
If you think of him as your husband, and he thinks of you as his wife... Yes, well, his wife, when he was alive, is still living, and he... But you are in a relationship. You moved to the mountain for him. Sure, but I... But... All righty. I fixed it. I'm so sorry for the interruptions, Betsy. Now... What was it that made you call in tonight? I, uh, well, I was honestly feeling a little lonely. Ugh, yeah. I, uh, I totally understand the feeling. We are happy to keep you company. But where's Mr. Hanson right now? Uh, He's at his great-great-granddaughter's birthday. Oh, so his family is still alive then. And seeing how he had grandchildren... Yes, his ex-wife is still alive, too. Do you know what he's going to do when she becomes a specter? Betsy pauses, the realization hitting her. Oh. Betsy? Did we lose you? It's... I mean... To be honest, I... I'm not sure what Mr. Hanson would do. He spends all his time watching his family, only to sit next to me in the woods when they're asleep. Jeez, I would have whipped him into shape real quick if he had done that to me. Oh, I couldn't do that. He's always so sad and lonesome. I would break my own heart. Was all of this really worth leaving your home? No way, girl. No man is worth that. I would have to agree with the lovely Tamara. Humans dead or alive cannot give you what say Tamara. A frogman could. Frogman's right. Maybe you should kill his family and see what he does. Huh. Gonna be honest with you. I was not expecting that solution from Honey. I would think he'd be very upset if I ended his bloodline. Sometimes a swamp monster has to do what a swamp monster has to do. Sweetie, I cannot tell you how many bloodlines I've ended. Yet the vampires always get the credit. I would have to agree. Not the ending of his bloodline part, but the leaving him. Oh, great. You're back too. You know, maybe a human perspective would be helpful. How do you know I'm a human? It It was was obvious. obvious. (gasps) Yeah, it was pretty obvious. Aren't you a human, Tamara? I'm a college student. I am interested in what you have to say. Uh, okay. Well... I... First, tell us your name, sweetheart. Grace. <laughs> I'm Grace. And I'm the head of my local chapter of M-A-N-P-A-S-B-K. Or Man Pass Beck, for short. Oh. And what does that stand for, sweetheart? Monsters are not people and should be... Well... <laughs> um, <clears throat> it's an anti-monster group. Ugh, that's a bit harsh. <clears throat> um, I'll ignore the fact that y'all are... Uh, so, anyways, my ex-wife and I got married right out of high school and stayed together for almost ten years. Only five of those years were good. Why only five? She found out she was a changeling on her 25th birthday. Ah, that makes sense. What makes sense? My nephew's a changeling, so I understand why you're in an anti-monster group. Even I wanted to join an anti-monster group after an afternoon with him. (laughs) But yes, it was hard. It was hard, but I loved her, and even as she started to get further and further from me, I just couldn't let go. So then what did you do? We went on our usual date night. Everything was going so well, as if nothing had changed between us. What then? That night, I went for a drive, and, well, I just kept driving till I reached California. I started over, and we got divorced. Have you seen her since? No, uh, 
I haven't even spoken to her since that night. It's kind of nice that my last memory of her is a loving one. I'm not sure if I have any loving memories of Mr. Hanson, other than that first night. I... <sighs> you seem really nice, Mrs. Hanson, and I think you deserve better. Just don't let anybody know I told you that. <laughs> I won't. But maybe you should think about why you hate mom. <laughs> Um, what happened? I don't know. The calls are still live. Sorry about that, folks. We'll get back on track. Betsy, Grace, are you still there? I am. Grace, are you there? While I may not be Grace, I have plenty of it, babes. How are you even here? Oh, bug damn darn. We had more listeners than we've had in years. Tamara, can you get Grace back? I can't. She never called in. Also, how has Frogman been able to keep jumping in? Oh, honey, Tamara here has only ever been putting me on mute. What? Why? I told you to get him off the air. How should I know how any of this works? Because you're getting your masters in telecommunications. Yet after throwing away $100,000, I still don't know what any of these buttons mean. Oh, it's all right, dears. <laughs> I, I think it's been a very telling night. I think I'm going to hang up now. I hope you have a pleasant evening then, Betsy. Thank you for calling in tonight. Well, do we have another call, Tamara? Seeing as there wasn't anything else left for Honey to help with or even comment on, the show ended up moving on to other monster stories. But as we move a few weeks forward, we may just be met with another special surprise in store for the show's listeners. Welcome back to Love with Monsters, everyone's favorite nightly, bi-weekly, once-monthly annual show. I'm the Honey Island Swamp Monster, but you can call me Honey. We're expecting a lot of love and a lot of tough love, but I guarantee there'll be monsters in love. Tamara has unfortunately graduated and now needs to work for money, so I broke down and ended up hiring the Loveland Frogman. Hello. Well, we have quite the night for you folks. Cause guess who called before the show aired? Nah, saucy babe. Just like the mess I saw a toddler make in the Spanish aisle of a supermarket. Um, okay. Frogman, will you just- Yes, yes, all right. Welcome, Miss Grace. Hello, monsters. It's been a while. I was surprised to get your call. Well, I just wanted to apologize and, um... Apologize? Only apologize? Well, yes. <laughs> I'm no longer a member of M-A-N-P-A-S-B-K. And while I think monsters are still a danger, I guess you have a right to live. Thank you. For the bare minimum. Is that it? Yes, that's all. My sweet, sweet, plump-bellied lava. I do not believe you. Hello, everyone. No, <laughs> oh, um, uh, hi. I wasn't expecting to hear you on the air, but when I did, I felt the need to call. I'm not sure why. We, we do. do. Or we hope we do. Will we get to have a live human and monster romance? I have no idea what you two are talking about. Plus, she's married. Or kinda married, I guess. Actually, I left. I'm back in my old swamp getting mossy again. Oh, I'm very proud of you, Betsy. I'm proud of you. 
Not a monster hater anymore, huh? Well, the time I spent talking to everyone here was the first time I ever talked to non-humans. I honestly thought that you were all government projects designed to destroy the world. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Huh. Grace definitely has a, uh, a, a wild imagination. I, I did, do, um, enjoy speaking with you. I find you surprisingly enjoyable for an alive human. I'll send you both each other's contact information. I expect at least the first 50 of your spawn. Oh, hush now. Love has many forms. I hope you both continue to become closer. <laughs> I would like that. Yeah, I would too. I didn't think I'd get on here so soon. Thank you both for calling in. Now it's my turn. Honey? Pay me what you owe me. I owe you nothing. You got your college credit. Dude, you pay Frogman. He texted me his last paycheck. You didn't pay Tamara anything? I told you, she got the credits. It was an internship. Oh, love. Perhaps another form of payment. Money isn't the only thing that this frogman has to offer. That's disgusting. No, I want my money now. Oh, come on now. So, how was it? Hmm? When you left Mr. Hansen, how was it? Oh, it was hard. For me, at least. He didn't even care. It didn't help the fact that his actual wife died a few days before I left. That's awful. I'm sorry. Oh, it's all right. I'm thinking of traveling to another swamp soon. Oh, there's a marsh I live close to in Sacramento. Is that an invitation? I, um, I just think it's a nice, uh, a nice marsh. I might just go. I do have your number now, along with quite a few disturbing messages from Frogman. Oh, yeah, I'm glad I wasn't the only one. I'm really sorry, folks. I'm gonna have to cut this show. It seems Tamara was calling from the parking lot. Honey, where is my paycheck? <laughs> well... Have a lovely evening. Thanks for tuning in to Love with Mom. Ugh, I honestly hate the radio tones. They hurt my ears. So, what do you think? Do you like it? <laughs> That's good. I'm glad. I honestly can't believe both of these stories had such... violent endings. At least this time, the ending was more funny than sad, right? <sighs> oh, so... how are we feeling, by the way? Do you feel a bit better? <laughs> Understandable. Hopefully we can get to the bottom of how you got in here. For now, though, I think it'd be best for you to get some rest. Later we can- Oh, <laughs> I wouldn't worry about that. I have a bad habit of piling books instead of putting them away. Earlier I- <sighs> I think I'm gonna go check it out. I have a feeling I know what's causing it. It has begun.